Hi guys, Mike with Fights of Friends here. Sorry for the short hiatus this week. We had a lot of things to wrap up at work. Um, I had to wrap up to go on vacation. Uh, me and my family are going on uh, Fourth of July vacation. So happy Fourth of July to all your fine asses. If you want to check out what we're doing on Mike Reviews at all, I will be posting a few things. Um, I'll be posting one, a review to our hotel in Richmond, Washington. So unless you ever plan on going to Tri-Cities, Washington, probably not real interesting to you, but it pays for our trip because I do a review. Uh, Fourth of July, though, we're going to the longest beach in the world. It's in Long Beach, Washington. It's actually very close uh, to the Oregon border. We actually have to uh, drive around through Astoria, Oregon, to get to Long Beach, Washington. So you start on Washington, you have to go back around Astoria to get back into Long Beach. For those of you that don't know what Long Beach, Washington is, I'm sure you all know where Long Beach, California is. Long Beach, Washington is actually the longest beach in the world. And on the 4th of July weekend, it's also home to probably the most pyromaniacs in the world, I would imagine. Uh, somewhere uh, between 50,000 and 100,000 pyromaniacs, depending on the year. Some estimated, some years, possibly even more. Um, all congregate on one area in Long Beach. In the past, we've been on a little bit of a milder side. Uh, you get hit by things. You get hit by mortars. Uh, there's some danger involved in it. This year, young David's almost 18 years old. He says, Dad, I want to go in the war zone. So we're going to war. And I got to warn you, it's going to be loud, it's going to be wild, it's going to be exciting, because these guys don't mess around. There's Indian reservations all around there. I mean, this is this is not just mortars. This is not your uh, NBC, you know, drop ball, fireworks show moment, 4th of July that you're going to see on TV. Um, these are loud, in-your-face bombs. These guys make actual bombs, and it's everywhere. I mean, it's minefields. It's, they call it the war zone for a reason. Uh, wish us luck. We'll probably come back with holes in our clothes. We usually come back with holes in our clothes. We take a throwaway tent uh, because your tent's going to be garbage. Uh, it's going to have holes in it. Um, we'll just be lucky if our tent doesn't get caught on fire. Sometimes those happen. The one nice thing I will say is that everybody there has been respectful for the most part through the years. I've only seen one possible fight, and we weren't even sure. It didn't look like it was that big of a fight. Uh, we've been there seven, eight times. So if you're ever in the area, if you're by Long Beach for the 4th of July, come check it out, man. And if you're there, uh, email me at Fights with Friends, and I'll come try and find you to say hi. But I will be back on July 5th. I feel it's important, this PFL card, Professional Fighters League. Uh, we got the return of Jake Shields. Of course, he's been in the octagon with some of the absolute legends. He's beaten some of the absolute legends. And I feel this guy definitely could have been UFC champion, um, if not for some difficulties with contract negotiations. He ended up over there at World Series of Fighting. Now he's in this tournament. Uh, definitely one of the top favorites to win this. One of the, another big thing we get to see in this though, and this is possibly what most people would care about the most, is Khabib's brother will be making his television debut. Uh, Abubakar Nurmagomedov, uh, he's been training like a beast. Uh, Khabib, has been talking about him. There is, was some videos of him out there, but he's been training with his brother. You know he's going to be a savage. Uh, I can't wait to see him. Uh, this Professional Fighters League, I, I love this. It's so fresh. You get the $10 million tournament, but then we get to see people that we haven't seen before that are good, that are really good. And we don't get to see Brian Foster a whole lot. But then we got to see the debut of Kayla Harrison last week. That caused a lot of excitement. Excuse me, a couple weeks ago. It was June 21st, I guess now. And then this week... We get to see the return of a lot of guys we haven't seen in a while. Like I said, uh, Jake Shields, uh, Pavlo Kush. But the television debut of Khabib's brother, uh, Abubakar Nurmagomedov. Um, for those of you that don't know, World Series of Fighting and UFC, they have a very amicable 
relationship. Um, they're not on bad terms at all. A lot of people come from World Series of Fighting, go into the UFC, and there's no hard feelings. i am even heard in the past, and I can't verify this, but it's been talked about on podcasts, it's been talked about on Joe Rogan's podcast, uh, certain fighters saying that they could take that they were offered a contract with the UFC, but they wanted them to fight two or three fights in the World Series of Fighting. Um, so this could be the debut, you know, this debut of Khabib's brother could launch him right into the UFC in a few bouts. Kayla Harrison, it's it's hard to imagine that we don't see her in the UFC. Uh, like I said, I've made the extremely bold prediction that I see her fighting for the title in 2020, and I think she has a very good shot if she can get her striking skills down uh, against Amanda Nunez or Chris Cyborg. Or both, even a two-time champion. Uh, this lady is determined, like I've said in the past, 1964. Judo has been an Olympic sport. Until Kayla Harrison entered the Olympics, the United States didn't have a gold medal to their name. Now, because of her, they have two from 2012-2016. Uh, the girl's relentless. Kibbe's brother's relentless. If you don't remember Jake Shields, he's relentless. I wish you all a relentless happy 4th of July, but be safe because I want to see all your fine asses soon. And as always, I love you, I respect you, and I'll see your fine asses later.